Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time. Actually, overdue. Overdue. Here we are on Tuesday, June the 1st, for our weekly reading, Tarot and Astrology. Got very, very hectic this weekend. Very, very busy in a good way. All right. So I wasn't able to get to it to now, but I like to do it, and I want you to have the information. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at uh, some tarot cards, some tarot de Marseille trumps that will be examining our upcoming week. And then we'll look at some astrology, which, as usual, is interesting. Please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three tarot de Marseille trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew for us this week from the CBD tarot are the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the Hermit, and the Pope, or as you may know from the Rider Waite Tarot, the Hierophant. Now, the wheel could possibly represent events flowing in our lives. With the Hermit looking on very carefully with his lamp, it's as if he's examining what's going on with the wheel. And in the meantime, the Pope or Hierophant is looking towards the right, perhaps the direction of the future. Now, what I have to mention, okay, I guess we'll mix in the astrology with this reading, okay, rather than sessioning it off, we are in a Mercury retrograde. That happened on the 29th. That is going to last until June the 22nd. Mercury is in Gemini right now, a sign that it rules, so it's very strong, but it is retrograde. In a retrograde, it's good to look at the past. It's natural to look at past events or pick up on uh, perhaps a project or pieces of something that we didn't finish before. So now's the time to go ahead and look back at the past, look at the flow of events, look at things that perhaps you need to rectify or finish. And as you do this, as you carefully examine it from a dispassionate point of view, remember the hermit is standing back. He has a walking stick. So he's putting some boundary up between him and these events. He's looking very carefully with the lantern of truth. So he's being very discerning. Nothing impulsive here, especially during a retrograde. We don't sign contracts. We don't make major decisions because things can be fuzzy. So we have to really work hard to emphasize clarity. But here's the thing. If we do that, we will find ourselves looking towards the future with new knowledge like the Pope and being able to share this with others. So this is a time that we can shine, we can polish up ourselves, so to speak, polish our lives, refine some things, and be prepared to move forward once the retrograde ends June the 22nd. Now, also, we don't have a lot going on in the heavens as far as good aspects for the days of the week. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward. We're in a waning phase of the moon. We had the full moon recently. So what we're going to be looking at is a time to banish, a time to get rid of things. Okay? None of the planetary rulers really work well on their given days. Uh, they're not aspecting planets or moon. The moon is not aspecting them with uh, beneficial aspects or they're aspecting in ways that are negative like squares. So there's no particularly strength, strong days on any given day for this next few days. However, it's still a very, very good time to banish and get rid of things in our lives that we don't need, like poverty, lack of health, lack of abundance, lack of social contacts, whatever it is you need or don't need to have in your life, it's time to clear it. So again, going back to our Mercury retrograde, we can be more ready to bring it in as time goes on. Well, there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Sorry about being late. We'll pick up next Sunday. Until then, many, many blessings.